Okay, let's go and see what's new in in Primark this week. So as soon as you go in the door, you're greeted by the Rita Ora collection. There's lots of gorgeous bits. I really love this full length cardigan. I'm not going to lie, the things in the Rita Ora collection are a little bit more pricey. And the prices in Primark in general right now are definitely more expensive than years gone by. There's lots of gorgeous winter coats in right now. I really love this chocolate brown faux leather trench coat. But I'm currently clearing out my wardrobe so I couldn't justify buying more coats when I'm trying to get rid of some. I did pick up some lovely jewellery bits but you'll see that in a haul later in the vlog. I was really just obsessing over all of these coats. They did have lots of knitwear in and all of the colours that you can imagine but to be honest I didn't spend too long in the clothing sections. I headed straight to the homeware section as all of the Christmas bits are out. How gorgeous is that throw? Also if you love kind of like reds and greens for Christmas they had all of that and more. Obviously I am a bit more of a neutral girl when it comes to Christmas and they didn't have that many pieces that were catching my attention. What I will say though is they had so many gorgeous bits for if you're hosting over Christmas. Lots of Christmassy themed dishes for your nibbles. They also had really nice napkins. I was absolutely obsessed with these plates that had the little snowflakes on. I do think they're just starting to put their Christmas bits out so I do think there's going to be more coming soon but you'll see what I did pick up later in the vlog. Hello my loves and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am starting another weekly vlog today. Um, I think this one's definitely going to be a weekly vlog because recently I've been doing kind of more like just a few days or like weekend vlogs. So I thought I would start this one and yeah I've got quite a busy week this week so it's going to be a weekly vlog. I've had quite a busy morning already this morning. I dropped my mum and dad at the airport and then I had to go and run an errand for my dad and where I was going was Hillington. And obviously there's like a really nice Starbucks in Hillington. If you've never been to the Starbucks in Hillington, you need to go because the staff are always lovely and it's really new, so it's quite modern inside. So I thought I'll go there. And then I also needed to go and get a new eyebrow pencil. Remember a few vlogs back, I had basically got an eyebrow pencil from Primark. It's my favorite at the minute. It's so, so cheap. And basically the one I managed to get was, I think probably a tester. So it's ran out super quick. And like I said, I've got a lot going on this week. So obviously I need to have good eyebrows. So I needed to go to pre-mark at some point so I thought since I was going to be over that way anyways I will go get myself a coffee and then go to pre-mark so you'll have seen all of that already and now I'm home we had lunch with Chris's mum she popped up on his lunch break and now I'm here talking to you guys I'm actually planning to redo all of my wardrobe and do like my wardrobe switch over today so I'm going to switch over all of my summer bits for autumn stuff I'm also going to have a bit of a clear out sort my makeup drawers all of that kind of stuff it probably won't take me too long because I do actually kind of tend to keep things quite organized now so it shouldn't be too big a job I'm setting aside this afternoon to get it all done I'm actually going to film all of that in a separate video for you and go through like my full wardrobe and like all the bits I have and yeah just really go through like my pack system and stuff because I've said I was going to do this before and they never really got around to doing it so that is going to be coming in a separate vlog but I'll show you some snippets of this afternoon but before I get started I thought I would quickly show you the bits that I picked up in Primark and I really got like I didn't actually get any clothes or anything like that I did get some makeup and accessories and I also still have my coffee from earlier I actually just put this in the fridge when I came in because I hadn't quite finished it I'd left it in the car when I went into the shops by accident and then obviously I was having my when I came in so I've popped it in the fridge and I'm going to have this whilst I do my clear out. I think this is the first time that I've been into Primark and left with a tiny bag. I always leave with massive bags and multiple of them but like I said I didn't actually get any clothes it was all accessories. I always tend to buy all of my jewellery from Primark, all of my hoops tend to be from Primark but recently my favourite hoops have actually broke. I have like two pairs of my favourite hoops have broke like literally within the space of a couple of weeks. To be fair they have done me for several years so I can't really complain and the other thing is I'm actually like enjoying still Silver jewellery a little bit more so it's been on my list to get some more like kind of silver chunky hoops but the last time I was in they didn't have any but when I went in today they had lots of new hoops so I got a pack of these so you can see all the different ones there these are obviously gold and then I also picked them up in the silver I've actually popped in some of the earrings here and I absolutely love them I feel like they're a really gorgeous designer dupe I then got these new gold chunky hoops because like I said I've actually broke two of my favourite gold hoops so I've got these ones and they were only £2.50 I then got these little silver hoops this is actually two different earrings so these are just little studs that you can put in obviously I have quite a few different piercings so these are going to come in handy and then these ones are all connected but it looks like you're wearing three hoops in one ear I also picked up some makeup bits I got this PS Prep and Protect which is obviously the Bobbi Brown dupe and then I also picked up another mascara as I had ran out of this. I switched between this mascara and the one from Iconic London and I feel like they are super good for lengthening your 
that's just like I said I've got a busy afternoon ahead of sorting out all of my wardrobe bits so I'll probably just pop you on a little time lapse so you can kind of see what I'm getting up to and yeah I'll catch up with you properly probably tomorrow. started my wardrobe switch over which you'll see fully in another vlog but I'm really enjoying it. I did think I was going to get a lot of it done yesterday which I got I made quite a good start but I think it's going to I think I'm going to basically finish it off today I've also finally got a vintage account where I'm going to be selling bits I put quite a few things up last night and I've already sold quite a lot um, which I'm really pleased about because a lot of my stuff is brand new with tags and the only reason I'm selling is because it's a lot of things that I've, I've kept and I'm like oh I'll definitely wear that and then I've just not wore them a lot of the stuff I'm selling is like more kind of going out pieces and like I'm a bit of a granny now and I don't really go out as much so I'd much rather rehome my items and give them to someone who's going to get some wear out of them I I'm definitely trying to like get rid of lots of different bits in my wardrobe. I cleared out a lot of my jeans yesterday um, and like some trousers and different bits and I'm switching over my summer stuff for my winter stuff. So I'm going to finish doing that this afternoon. Um, I will show you snippets of me doing that in this vlog but the full vlog of like my wardrobe switch over and also all the details of my PAX wardrobe system is going to be coming in another vlog really soon. I've said for ages that I would give you a proper rundown of my wardrobe and I've never really got round to doing it. So I promise I will do that and that video will be coming really soon because I absolutely love my wardrobes like they're so good I feel like they never get that messy because everything has a place and like honestly if you'd seen what my house my house if you'd seen what my rooms yes rooms not not one I think I had three rooms in my mum and dad's house that were just like my bedroom I then had their spare room which had wardrobes in it and then the attic space was where I kind of like worked slash did my makeup and honestly there were always a riot like my used to open the spare room door and there was just clothes everywhere so I feel like I've definitely now mastered like a capsule wardrobe keeping on top of things clearing out regularly and yeah just being really organized so if you are currently like old me who has too much stuff and yeah everything's everywhere and you're in a bit of a guddle you'll need to watch my new video on like all my tips and tricks on how I keep everything organized now on to today I have just dropped Chris off at work because I have got an appointment in the West End at 9 30. I'm going to Mazart Hair Salon which is on Great Western Road there's actually one in Uddingston that I used to always walk past and the salon looks absolutely gorgeous and this one in the west end looks really really nice so i'm really excited to try them out i'm actually going with kerastase i'm basically going in to try their fusio dose treatment i hope i've pronounced that correctly um, and then i'm going to get a nice blow dry as well i've just said that to chris i'm like i'm not too sure what i want my hair blow dried like i'm still guys i'm still in this a little bit of a higgle to piggle to with my hair where i think like i've almost texted kerry about three times in the past week and a half to book in to get my hair like 90s flicky layers and then I've stopped myself. So what I'm going to do is I will be due to get my hair done before the end of the year. So I think I'm going to go and get my hair done in like November-ish. Maybe the start of November. And by that point, I'm hoping I will have decided if I'm going to just go for it. Get some layers. Obviously, like getting layers will take off some length. But my hair will look super thick. So, and then it means I'll be able to like have like bouncy hair again. And like, yeah, like put rollers in and all that kind of stuff. Or I might fully decide that actually I like it all being one length. I might get like some bangs. I don't know. I'm not sure, right? But that's that's a discussion for another day. So today I need to decide I'm going to go for like kind of curls or like waves. Not too sure what style I'm going to go for. But I'm really excited to go in and of course I will take you guys along with me. I'm in and out of the town pretty much every day this week which is really unlike me usually I'm like in the town once every two weeks and most of the time I'm just kind of at home and whatnot um but yeah I've got like a very busy week this week where I've got a dinner on Thursday night I have my appointment with Dr Callie I haven't seen her in ages very excited about that so I'll take you along for that as well I'm gonna go and get a Botox top up and potentially more lip filler haven't had lip filler for like two years now but you'll see all of that at the end of the week and then I'm also catching up with my friend on Friday since I'm over the south side. The last stock is due to arrive this week as well so I'll have a lot of orders, all of the pre-orders they're going to be getting shipped out hopefully the end of this week. I've also got a new design coming which I'll be launching on the site so keep your eyes out for that. So yeah this is a busy busy week but we love a busy week. A busy week is always good. Uh, next week only need a quieter week after the busy week but yeah I'm looking forward to this week so I thought it was a good week. How many times am I going to say week? But yeah I thought it was a good week for me to vlog the full week because there's a lot more going on. Um, um, and yeah it shouldn't be too boring for you guys to watch so I'm going to stop rambling because I am actually early for my appointment well I was super early but now because I've been talking to you guys for like 10 minutes um, it's almost time for me to go in so yeah I'm going to take you along to the salon and let's go and get a treatment and gorgeous hair together
That's me now back in from my appointment. I had such a lovely morning. The Mez Art Salon is absolutely gorgeous. I've never ever been in a Mez Art Salon before and the one in the West End is relatively new I think and it was just so so nice. It's an absolutely massive room and just a really gorgeous place to go and get your hair cut or your hair coloured or whatever you're getting done. My stylist was also so so nice. She was just so chatty and I'm an absolute chatterbox so it was a perfect fit. Um, we were just gabbing away talking about loads of different things um, and yeah it was overall just a lovely morning. I've seen some of the other girls which was nice, had a nice little catch up and the main reason that I was actually there was obviously to try out the Kerastase in salon treatment. So it's called Fusio Dose, you'll have seen the whole kind of treatment taking place, it's nothing like invasive or scary or anything like that. Basically you just tell your stylist kind of what your main concerns are with your hair. So for instance maybe you feel like you've got a bit of breakage or maybe your hair is feeling dry, like that kind of thing and then obviously your stylist will have a good look at your hair as well and then they'll kind of recommend what dose like treatment you should go for. I feel like with treatment sometimes you're never sure like if it's just a kind of gimmicky thing but honestly my hair feels so silky soft and also my hair is really really tuggy it doesn't really seem to matter kind of what I use on my hair like at home or even in salon sometimes when I've had my hair coloured afterwards even when we've used like KAT and loads of different things my hair is still quite tuggy to brush through. I don't know what the magic in this Kerastase treatment is but my hair was like a dream to brush through and any kind of tugs or knots just brushed out really really easily. I kept saying that that I just couldn't get over like how my hair, my head basically wasn't getting pulled about because like I said it doesn't seem to matter kind of what I use in my hair but my hair always is quite tuggy. And then got my hair curled to finish. It has dropped quite a bit but I personally do prefer kind of like looser waves and also the rain today has been absolutely horrendous. They actually had me take an umbrella home which was super kind of them because I would have been absolutely soaked getting to the car and the car was literally only across the road. I'm super pleased with my blow dry and my experience in the salon was lovely and my hair is just feeling so silky soft. It feels like it was like needing a bit of nourishment and that is exactly what this Kerastase treatment has done. I was also talking to my stylist about cutting my hair. I wasn't going to cut it today but I was telling her all about my hair journey and like how I had really long hair and then it was fried off and I've kind of been working the last five years which seems like such a long time but five years basically to try and get it as long and thick as possible again and I feel like now we're here I kind of want to cut it. Uh, I don't want to cut it short but what I was saying was I would quite like to put some like layers in my hair but I'm worried that cutting layers in will make me feel like my hair's shorter. She was saying that maybe I should just get like kind of like face framing at the front and maybe like a few little layers put through it so then it doesn't feel dramatically different but I'll have a wee bit more bounce so if I want to do that kind of like flicked in blow dry look I can do that. I'm still not too sure what I'm going to do in my hair because when I'm looking at it just now I like that it's all kind of like one length but then at the same time I'm also kind of like is it just pulling my head down? We'll wait and see. I think I'm going to book a hair appointment for maybe like the middle of November so then I have a nice kind of fresh blonde for going into Christmas and going into like the new year and yeah that'll give me plenty of time to decide whether I'm going to take the plunge and get some layers or if we're just going to play it safe and keep it long and one length. Since I had all my hair done I did have two campaigns to film when I got back in so I've done all of them and now I'm going to take the rest of the afternoon to finish doing my wardrobe. I think I should get most of the wardrobe sorted today and then I'll maybe leave like my kind of makeup drawers, beauty drawers for over the weekend or maybe going into next week and then I've also got a big pile of clothes in the spare room that are kind of for vintage and I'm going to need to go through but I'll kind of take my time doing that. The main thing is getting all of the wardrobe switched over so that is my plan for the rest of the afternoon. I might be going to the gym with my brother at like four o'clock-ish so I've got a few hours to kind of crack on and get as much done as possible and that is you now all up to speed. I'm going to stop gabbing and go and crack on with this wardrobe. I also meant to show you the lovely flowers that Kerastase gave us. How gorgeous are these? A little wrapping they've done that's obviously supposed to look like a newspaper. And how beautiful are these flowers? They also smell really nice. I need to get these in a vase. I've already got my nice flowers that Chris got me at the weekend. So the house has now went from having no flowers to lots of flowers. Okay, this currently looks a little bit chaotic, but that pile of coat hangers, like for ages, I've not had any spare coat hangers. And then all of these coat hangers are from things that I am now selling. So I'm definitely getting rid of quite a lot of things. 
This does look like an absolute mess. I promise that it is actually organised chaos. I've had my wardrobes for a year and a half now and since then I've done like two wardrobe switchovers and I like to kind of play about with where I keep things. So I'm doing quite a big changeover just now. So yeah, we've got all of this to organise and then I still have to get the stuff out of my drawers as well. It's officially that time of year where it is basically pitch black before, well to be fair, it now is like half past six but I have been getting ready in here for well over an hour and it's been pretty much the same level of darkness the full time. I'm just finishing off getting ready. I just need to brush out my curls and I thought I would chat to you as well I do that. You probably can see some mess. Well you actually do you know what the good thing about where I sit you guys which is on my wee windowsill it's a higher up window so yeah you actually can't see the mess that's still on the floor but the wardrobe switch over slash clear out slash organising I don't even know what it became, um, it's almost complete. I still need to kind of sort my under bed storage if you've seen what the under my bed looks like right now. Like, Chris actually didn't realise like how bad it was um, and he came up earlier because he was working from home today and then he looked in the bedroom and I'd lifted the mattress up and he was like, what the hell is all of that? I basically need to order more storage off of Amazon um, so that I can kind of put everything in a place. I've got all of my knitwear out, all of my over the knee boots, all of my chunky boots. Still need to sort my coats but again I think I'm going to finish doing that on Sunday. Since I've got all of my knitwear out I had quite a clear idea of what I wanted to wear tonight. I will give you a little look at my outfit. I might even just like pop in a selfie or something because the lighting's so bad and also the floor's a mess in here so try to show in the camera might be a bit difficult so it'll be on screen uh, but I just know this is going to be an outfit I'm going to wear over and over again right up until it's no longer winter because I just love this jumper. I actually got this two Christmases ago. I basically panic bought hundreds of knitwear in H&M I think like three days before Christmas because I didn't have an outfit for Christmas Day. I never actually ended up wearing the ones that I bought. I ended up ordering something that was black and everything I bought was cream. That is a completely pointless story but basically I bought this knit jumper which is actually long enough to be a jumper dress. It's from H&M and honestly it's absolutely gorgeous. It's got this big massive, you can't even see because of the camera angle. The big massive section that kind of like overturns and then it's just it's just absolutely gorgeous. I really love it on. I've put it on with some like baggy leather trousers and I'm going to put on some chunky black, well actually they're not really that chunky, they're like square toed boots um, and then just a wee bag. And I've not even told you why I'm getting dressed up because you might have been thinking that I was talking about being a hermit recently and like how I don't go out and stuff and now you might be thinking well it's dark outside Laura and you're heading out the house and you're not getting your jammies and that's because me and Chris are having a little Thursday night date night we've been kindly invited along to a new restaurant called Bar and Tender so we thought why not let's go since Chris has changed his job we've definitely got like more options of like being able to go places because usually he would still be working just now since he was working from home I thought that'd be quite a nice little thing to do and then obviously tomorrow's Friday so yeah like a nice kind of way to go into the weekend so I will of course take his along with us tonight and have like literally three minutes before I need to leave and before Chris probably starts shouting on me for being late um but I was just popping my earrings on which reminded me I hadn't shown you guys so I got these ones I'm really loving silver jewellery at the moment and I actually don't have a lot of silver jewellery so I was kind of on the hunt for some chunky silver pieces and I have managed to actually chat to you guys right like bang on time for when I need to leave so I need to go and put my shoes on now and get out the door but I will take these with me for our lovely little dinner. Hello my loves, it is finally Friday and honestly this has been a bloody lovely week. I was just thinking that as I was driving in there. I'm up in Atom this morning, I dropped Chris earlier on a Friday which although is kind of annoying because I need to get up that wee bit earlier, it's also quite good because I start my day earlier because I've dropped him off. I was actually planning to go to the gym this morning but my brother never takes me back and I also was just thinking do you know what, sometimes I list off things like I'm going to get all this done and then actually the expectations of getting things done and the time limit that I have, like I don't 
don't really know. Sometimes I think I'm going to be like Superwoman and get absolutely everything done. Like I was listing everything to Chris last night and he was like, do you think you're really going to get all that done in that space of time? And I'm like, probably not, but one can dream. So yeah, ended up patching at the gym this morning and I've actually kind of switched my day around. Um, I was planning to go to Ikea after my other appointments today, but I've decided to come to Ikea for the opening. So it's literally like three minutes to 10 and I'm actually at the other car park, at the other part of the retail park because I jumped into the next tier because basically I have my Botox appointment and also my lips. I'm going to get my lips done, I think, um, with Dr. Callie today and I haven't seen her since she's had another little baby. She's had a little baby girl and I've got her a lovely little gift, but I didn't have a gift bag like what is wrong with me I didn't have a gift bag for Chester and I didn't get a gift bag for Callie so honestly I have that many different conversations with other people and then also just with myself and um, that I never know if I've actually filled you guys in or told you but basically obviously I've been doing my wardrobe switch over this week and I've changed everything around and obviously I've had the wardrobes now for almost two years yeah hmm no a year and six months actually so I feel like that's a really good amount of time to kind of like know like I've done like three wardrobe switchovers I think yeah two wardrobe switchovers I basically went through quite a few seasons with the wardrobes so I know kind of exactly now what storage I need and like where I like things being and also to be honest I just like like I find like great joy in like switching things up and see when I was going to my wardrobe like this morning to get ready I just thought it was like so fun that like everything's in a different place and it's all organized like I know that's probably quite sad but basically I've decided I want to get little baskets for the bottom like the little pull out baskets now I went for the kind of pull out trays to begin with at the bottom because because I have the doors and because they have brackets what is this fluff line about <laughs> because they have the brackets for the doors you can't have drawers right to the bottom because I would have just had drawers like I think I would have had one I've got three drawers I would have had four drawers if I could have and um, just for that extra bit of storage but basically because of where the brackets are I can't have them but the last time I was in Ikea I was doing the wardrobes for our spare room which I've still not got around to ordering um, and the girl was like oh right well you can't have this at the bottom but maybe we could add a basket and I was like oh you can add baskets so the baskets are cheap as chips my favourite saying but I think they're £25 for the big basket and I only need one and you're going to laugh at what I need it for because I was showing my mum on FaceTime yesterday I was like I'm getting this blah 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 and she's like so what are you getting the basket for and I was like spillover pyjamas like I have literally too many pairs of pyjamas it's more so like my night shirts and like oversized t-shirts and things I'm going to basically just like roll or fold and put at the bottom and they'll sit under like my big pyjama drawer you'll see all this when I like when I organize it I've also decided that I want rid of the glass shelf that goes over my jewelry tray I just feel like it looks a bit messy like I don't really like to see like I never look in my wardrobe and look at the glass and go that's what I'm going to pick out I always like pull, I always slide the drawer out so it's a bit like pointless. I know a lot of people say it's nice to see it but I kind of like things tucked away and hidden so yeah I've decided to go and get another little shelf. I was also planning on maybe getting another kind of mini shelf for where my bags all are because I probably could fit another shelf in there um, and maybe have that shelf for like perfume or stuff because um, I feel like I'd like my wardrobe to have a wee bit more obviously still be functional but maybe have like some I don't know like some little bits on display and look a bit more aesthetic um, but yeah I don't need that shelf just now that was just like a little I would like that shelf eventually um, and I think I might get some more baskets for under the other sections as well so I really want to get all of my wardrobe last bits kind of finished today and all I really have to still do is put away these pyjamas that are like sitting on the floor that's the only thing everything else is done the only thing I haven't done is under my bed which I did say to you guys I think that I'm going to tackle that over the weekend because I need more storage and stuff for that just so that it looks really nice and organized um, and everything has a place and I probably need to kind of go through it a wee bit more um, and just kind of whittle down like what I'm keeping and what I'm not I'm absolutely loving how the wardrobe's looking and I feel like it was a job well done this week of getting all that switched over and I have obviously been filming it separately for you guys in another vlog and once I've kind of got all the last wee bits in I'm going to do like a full wardrobe tour and show you how I organise things and yeah I think that'll be quite fun because like I said I've had my wardrobes for quite a while now and I know kind of what I like and what I don't like but to be honest if you're thinking about getting Ikea packs don't wait for that video for me to, like to convince you to get them you should just get them they're so well priced like I got so many quotes for fitted wardrobes and they were absolutely extortionate and to be honest I actually don't like how a lot of the fitted wardrobes look the Ikea ones suit me perfectly I was actually obviously thinking about building them in at one point but I quite like how they look and the thing with it is when we eventually move which won't be for quite a number of years but like when we obviously do move I'll just take those wardrobes with me like that's so good whereas if I'd paid for like fitted wardrobes the next person that bought a house would be like getting those wardrobes and they don't add value onto your house like well they probably would add maybe a wee bit of value on 
but not not the value that it would cost to get them done so yeah if you're thinking about getting ikea packs i definitely recommend i'm going to stop babbling because in the space of me talking to you it's now five past ten and ikea will be open i've done a click and collect and i'm also going to go and get see those little neutral um tubs like organizing tubs storage tubs they're so so cheap in there i think they're like they start from like 30p 40p or something um and i'm going to get them for my makeup bits because my makeup kind of organization bits are all kind of miscellaneous bits that i bought some that i bought for moving into the house some that i've had for years and yeah they're a bit grubby looking and i just feel like it would be nicer to have them all neutral so that's the plan i'm going to go and get some of them i'm not going to go all the way through ikea because i don't think the displays have really changed and also i've not got my right hand man with me my mum she's all of a sudden on her holly bags so i'm going to ikea on my, on my lonesome today I usually would go with her and make a wee day out of it so yeah I texted her a picture of me being like off to Ikea on my Todd but to be honest I'm quite looking forward to a little solo trip I'm just going to go in and get those little bits in the downstairs section pick up my order and then I'm going to go to Dr Callie my appointment's in about an hour and ten minutes with her but it's like not far from here so yeah I'll bring you along with me to that as well I'm going for a Botox top up which is so overdue when I say like overdue and I've got loads of wrinkles I obviously like don't have loads but when you're used to getting like baby botox it just makes your skin feel, like i just feel so much the only way to describe it actually is you just feel so much fresher like i feel i look more awake my skin looks more youthful and yeah i just i like the glow and everything it gives me my makeup goes on really well and i haven't had it done since i think i want to say like february so that's quite that's quite a long time in between appointments usually botox lasts me like four to six months um and i haven't had my lips done in two years i think it's exactly two years because i got them done just before we moved house like a, a month before we moved house so almost two years um and i absolutely love like i've loved my lips ever since i got them done to be honest when I got my lips done I think at, the, at first I was like oh my lips were never small which they weren't small but when I look back at pictures of myself I just feel like since I did get that little bit in them I feel like it balances out my full face a lot better like I have quite a big face so I feel like my lips I don't want my lips to be like, lost in my face I also don't want them to be absolutely massive and I'm really bad you'll probably notice this in my videos guys and I am aware my mum tells me all the time that I overdraw my lips and like as the day goes on my lip liner is probably up under my nose or like under my chin so if you have ever noticed that please do be aware that I am also aware um so I'm gonna go and get a little top up in the lips today I think and yeah we'll see we'll see if that stops me overdrawing them for a little while i feel like i need to put a little disclaimer in here i'm not encouraging anybody to go and get like filler botox anything like that um but i also feel like it's really important to be transparent and also i'm going to try and vlog me actually getting my treatments done so if you don't like needles and whatnot that'll be coming in the next few slides so maybe switch past that part of the video as always i've done enough rambling i'm going to skedaddle get to ikea get to my appointment and then we will catch up when i get back out i'm also going to go see my friend for a little coffee date catch up because she lives in the south side and i'm going to be over that way yeah let's go to ikea
I've actually arrived a little bit early to see my friend. Um, I got here quicker than I was expecting, so I thought I would take this opportunity to show you my lips. I still have numbing cream on. I didn't actually think this through properly. I was just thinking, oh, like, I'm over that way and I've not seen her in a bit, so we'll make her catch up the same day. But I'm going in for a coffee and my lips are like, they're definitely swollen just now. A lot of people always say that if you like your lips when they're swollen, you should get them a wee bit bigger because they definitely die down. Like they won't be as big tomorrow and then by next week they'll be totally settled. Obviously they are very swollen just now, but Callie is honestly the best. It's also just so nice going in and getting a catch up with her because I don't see her that often because obviously your appointments are kind of like either once a year or like once every six months or whatever. There's always a lot to catch up on when I go in and see her. I also should have pointed out at the start of this video that I literally look like Legolas from Lord of the Rings. To be honest, Legolas is actually very handsome. Like he's definitely much better looking than me with his hair all scraped back. Like this, I don't even know what I've tried to do today. Obviously, I obviously got that treatment on my hair on Wednesday and then was working about all day yesterday. And what I'm finding now is because I have kind of like a darker root and I'm just not as blonde. My hair's not as dry, so my hair gets greasier and it's just not something that I like, I'm used to. Um, I always had like blonde, blonde hair and I used to get like, I could literally go like a week and a half without washing my hair and you wouldn't even notice. Uh, but my hair definitely gets greasier, like right at the roots. I think actually as well, what it is, is like I'm always taking my makeup off with like cleansers and stuff now as well i always use my elements cleanser and i don't wear a headband so half the time the product and the water and everything's going in my hair so i probably should get a little kind of skincare band and um, that'll probably help reduce me putting like products in my hair i'm also bad for like putting my moisturizer on my face and then like doing this because I'm so used to having a slick bun. But I'm also kind of fed up slicking my hair back all the time. So I thought I would do a half slick, but I still have my hair down. I don't really know if this is a look or not, or if I just look like a big boiled egg, but hey ho. Meet my friend at Burnfield Bakery. I went there with Chris last weekend and it was so nice, but we went a little bit later in the day and they'd obviously like ran out of all of their amazing stuff at that point, like all of their fresh pastries and stuff. We went literally like 45 minutes before it shut, so it wasn't on them. Like obviously everyone else had came during the day and cleared them out. Um, but I'd like to get nice class on. Don't know how I'm going to eat it because my lips are numb. Um, but their coffee, I got pumpkin spice latte on Saturday and it was so nice. So my friend lives in the south side so she's going to come and walk and meet me. It's also really easy to get parked here. Um, I've just parked around the back. Also to get here I just plugged it in the sat nav because Callie's clinic, her new clinic, which by the way how stunning is her clinic? Honestly it, she put so much work into that and you can just really tell it's a beautiful beautiful space. It's so grand and just yeah it's just lovely. Clinic is in Ibrooks and Ibrooks? <laughs> Ibrox, Ibrox, Ibrox. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. It's over that way, which is obviously the kind of opposite side from the south side. Um, so I just plugged it in my sat nav, and honestly, I just drove down the most beautiful road that literally I was like, I want to live here one day. I mean, I probably would never move over this way because it's too far away from like all of our families and stuff. But see, like all these like old grand houses that have kind of like had a modern twist on them, their own big driveway, and all the leaves were just coming off the trees as I was driving, and like the, there was piles of leaves at this like on the pavements, and I absolutely love that. Like I love. Of, like walking through the leaves and crunching them and stuff like that really sad i know but i was just thinking i would absolutely love to live somewhere like this where I come out my front door there's the gorgeous trees all the leaves are on the ground crunch 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 walk to my local coffee shop because there were like loads of nice wee local places but one can only dream i actually better stop rambling and i'm going to go in actually and make my little order because my friend probably she power walks she probably won't be long then i need to go and drop off all of my vintage orders because people are going crazy and buying all of my stuff which I'm really happy about because like I said I've got so many nice things that I've got like tags on so I've got lots of vintage orders to get sorted and then also the Lala stock is supposed to be arriving so this weekend could be a busy one um, but I love to be busy. I've had a bloody lovely week and I'm really excited to go out for a coffee with my friend. Ready for a lovely little Saturday shopping trip in the town. I'm excited about going in, but the weather today is just horrible. What's it saying? Cancelled. It's a very wet, miserable Saturday. We were actually just at the train station there because we were planning to get the train in rather than driving into town. Um, just so that it's just easier, isn't it, rather than parking the car. But all the trains are cancelled. We never get the train as well. Well, you get the train to work, but I never get the train. The trains are cancelled because of the heavy rain, even though the rain's not like that heavy now. No, it's just not. No, no more rain. We're now driving into town, we're meeting Chris's mum and dad around two-ish and well, it's maybe a wee bit really heavy now actually isn't it? Nah, it's probably not the best day to go into town but 
probably just stay inside hoping. Try not walk about. I've also got my big umbrella that I got at Mazart the other day, so that's going to come in handy. Hopefully, it won't be rain, um, windy and it'll blow away. And then I think we're going to go to Pisano for some pizza, or is that maybe the plan? No, thank you. Yeah, or maybe go somewhere else. We're going to get a coffee or something first because I am needing a coffee. And yep, as always, I will take you with us for our little rainy day out. Update I'm laughing at saying that the weather isn't really that bad, and this is the current state of some of the roads. We're fine because my car is dead high up, but there's some people going through this and I'm like, oh my god, like look at the cars in the distance. <gasps> I don't even know if you can see properly. They are really, oh my god, is it all the way along here? We're going, guys. <gasps> oh yeah, we're giving up, we're giving up. <laughs> that was getting so deep there. <laughs> I think we're getting deeper further up. It's been a few days since I picked up the camera. I've literally just been filming this morning. Um, I've been filming like morning routines, hence why I'm still in my pajamas. These are the Primark pajamas that I absolutely rave about. And obviously last week I was sorting out all of my wardrobes and yeah, it really was apparent how obsessed I am with this style of pajama from Primark. Like I have a full drawer of just like these pajamas in different colours. I'm trying to think when I last spoke to you, I think it was Saturday before we headed out for the day when we had that mental weather. Um, so we went into town, had a little wander in some of the shops, actually into Cos for the first time. I've never actually been in there before and oh my goodness, awesome winter selection was like top tier. It is a little bit more expensive obviously. Well, not even a little bit more expensive, it's a lot more expensive, but the quality is supposed to be better. I never actually bought anything, but me and Chris's mum were having a really good look through all of the knitwear, all of the coats. They had really nice like big bags and stuff as well. I did vlog a wee bit, but because we were out with family, I just kind of ended up forgetting in the end. And then Sunday was just a kind of work, clean, organised day. Um, and then me and Chris just went like a nice little kind of cosy autumn walk and then we watched Harry Potter for the first time this year. I didn't really watch a lot of Harry Potter last year. It was two years ago that we started watching Harry Potter I believe because I'd never really been into it before. And to be honest with you, when I was like, when I was saying we would rewatch it, I was thinking, will this be good? Like, I'm a bit weird with rewatching things. Like, if I know what's going to happen and stuff, then yeah, I don't like, it doesn't like capture my attention the same way. But I was really excited to sit down and watch it. We got all cozy. I made a really nice, like cheesy pasta on Sunday night. And then we watched Harry Potter. And to be honest, see, because there's so many of them, and we watched them all at like the same time. I can't actually remember what happened in each one really so it did feel like I was watching something new again and just like the music that plays and everything it's just like perfect for this time of year and we both just said it was like such a nice little thing to sit and watch so we're going to watch one every weekend I think moving forward. So that is you now kind of up to speed. Well it's Tuesday today, yesterday I just worked all day and um, I have a lot of campaigns to film this week and like my deadlines are this week so yeah when I'm filming for other like work bits I then tend to forget to pick up the camera and vlog. So I do apologise for not really vlogging the last couple of days, but you haven't missed much. I have just been filming. I've got a big package in here from Fourth and Reckless that I want to show you. So um, I'm actually probably going to style these bits up in a new kind of like styling video. Um, thank you so much for all the lovely feedback on the styling video that I posted on Sunday. I've had so many of you either comment on the video or like just messaging me directly just to say that you really liked that style of video and that you also kind of resonate with what I was saying about feeling like the need to buy a lot of stuff at this time of year and yeah it's a cost of living guys and it's expensive and trying to stay on trends all the time is it's just a lot so I feel like I don't really I feel that myself so I don't really want to be like adding to that and um, so yeah it was nice to have some lovely messages of people like agreeing and like yeah just saying they enjoyed the video so yeah thank you very much if you watched that video and thank you for all the feedback before I show you the bits that I got from fourth and reckless I have to show you this package that I opened up this morning it's a box of five essentials in five minutes and when I opened it up at first I was just kind of like having a look at the products you can see that I've actually like properly ransacked it um, and there was a few things that caught my eye and I wanted to try I didn't use the brow gel and I didn't use the mascara I did actually use the little kind of like corrector concealer that comes that's up there actually and I'm being a bit lazy and I can't be bothered going and getting it that is really good as well but the two standout products in this little bundle are these right here I've got them on just now and I just feel like I feel like I've not really been loving my makeup recently I think I was saying that the other day that like 
when it gets this time of year, I just love like dewy kind of golden glowy makeup. And although I don't tend to really switch my makeup up in the winter, it never seems to feel as dewy and glowy. So yeah, I feel like I've been trying to like figure out what to do with my makeup. And um, when I tried these two products this morning, I just feel like this is the look that I've been trying to achieve. Okay, first up, we've got this cheek tint. I, at first, like looking at the color of that, I actually thought it looked a bit like the fake blood you get in Halloween. And I thought this is gonna go on and stain my cheeks. But for one, it blends beautifully and a little goes a long way. And I just feel like it's given me like a very natural like flush to the cheeks. Obviously the colour of that, I feel like you'd be thinking, oh my goodness, that's going to be so dark. But that's the only thing that I have on my cheeks and I feel like it's just given a nice healthy glow. I do feel like it will probably be buildable, so if you want like more of a colour on your cheeks, then you probably couldn't just put a little bit more on. But like I said, it blended out beautifully and I also actually popped this on my lips as well. I feel like the more kind of like berry colours at this time of year are like much nicer in your makeup. Usually in the summer I tend to go kind of more like corals and things. So I'm trying to like switch over and bring in like like more like berry colours and see if that will make me look like I feel like that will maybe achieve the look that I'm trying to go for and then this lip colour when I first pulled this out again I was like I'm not too sure about that colour but it just goes on so nice so I just lined my lips slightly I have obviously just had my lips done guys and they are now probably more settled they're a little bit bigger than they were actually but the other day at first when I, like, I think it was the Saturday morning they were really swollen and I was like, oh no, I don't know if they're a bit too big, but now that they've started to go down, I really like them. I still seem to have, like, overdrawn my lips ever so slightly, but it's not intentional, it's just like, I just end up basically going like this. And then it ends up a way up here, so I am aware that they're, like, overdrawn. Um, but this is the lip gloss. I think it's got a little bit of plumping in it because it's got, like, a minty taste. But it's so, so nice, not sticky at all. And I feel like it's just like a your lip but better colour. That little combo is really, really nice. I'm not too sure if you can buy these products individually or if you need to buy the set. Um, I'll have a little look and I will link them below because, like I said, really, really pleased with them. And I feel like they do exactly what it says on the tin. Makeup, the five essentials, five minutes. I feel like you could just pop these on with a little bit of moisturiser. Maybe fill in your brows and then head out the door and you would look nice and flushed and... Like a healthy glow. Now onto this gorgeous big package from Fourth and Reckless. Obviously in my styling video I was talking about building a capsule wardrobe and having main kind of like staple pieces in your wardrobe that you can bring out year on year and I feel like what I'm going to show you is something that you definitely need in your wardrobe. I actually already have what I'm going to show you, not this exact one. Um, I got it two years ago. I spent quite a bit of money on it actually. It was from Rhode Island and I wore it so, so much. I absolutely loved it. But the only thing was the quality, although it was expensive, wasn't the best. And my scarf had shedded onto it. And it basically has become all bobbled and I've tried to like fix it and like debobble it and stuff but it just, the quality of it now, it just doesn't look, it looks a bit grubby when I pull it out but it's such a like wardrobe staple. So when the lovely girls at Fourth and Reckless reached out to see if I wanted any new bits for autumn and I seen that they had this, I thought I need a new one, like I've been wanting to get a new one. So this is going to, this is going to get a lot of use. They've also just launched their new range called the Sunday Club and there's so many gorgeous pieces in this. There's lots of kind of like loungewear, matching knit sets, um, a jumper that I got that I'm really excited to like style up. I feel like I'm just going to wear that loads. Um, and also just like lots of like joggers and sweatshirts. I've got a lot of their kind of like joggers and sweatshirts and they wash super well. They really love the quality and yeah, just very like cool girl of duty vibes. The packaging is always just absolutely stunning from Fourth and Reckless. I'll show you what I got from the Sunday Club in a little minute, but I need to show you this first, which is going to be really hard for me to show you on this little tiny screen right now. I will have to either wear this, will I wear this at some point in this vlog? I think this vlog's quite long now, so I might actually not wear this coat, given it away it's a coat. Um, until the next vlog but I will also be styling this up in one of my styling videos so if you want to really see what it looks like it's probably not going to show it in all its glory but I've just taken it out and oh my goodness 
it feels so soft. So this is their Sienna coat. It does also come in a lovely ivory colour. This is basically just a straight black coat which I just feel like you need to have in your wardrobe. Like I said, I had one a few years ago and I wore it so much. I wore it with jeans, I wore it with like little unitards underneath, I wore it with joggers, I just wore leather trousers, like everything you can think of I had it on with and I just know that I'm going to get so much wear out of this. So like I said, I'm going to style it up really soon. Um, so if you want to see properly on film, like on film, <laughs> on video what it looks like, um, then yeah, you'll have to tune in to some of my other videos really soon. I've just had a little sneak through the tissue paper there and I thought there was only going to be one piece from the Sunday Club and there's actually two in here so I'm excited to see what they are. There's a lot of ASMR as I rip open, open the package. Ah, it's little accessories. Oh, I'm so excited. So in the first little Ziploc bag we've got a cat. No, I'm absolutely obsessed. I love a black cat. I love a cat in general. But all of mine are actually like sports caps. Like I've just got quite a lot of Nike ones. They're not really like dressy that I would wear like going out. Oh my goodness, this cap with that black coat, denim jeans, and then like my chunky loafers. Oh my God, I absolutely love. In the next Ziploc bag, We've got something that's really going to come in handy because I realised as I was doing all of my clearing out that I actually don't have a tote bag. This will be coming handy as my little swimming bag. How gorgeous is that? It's a lovely forest green colour. Me heading to the swimming pool. Love that. Now for what I'm probably most excited about. I just know that I'm going to wear this to absolute death. It's a gorgeous knitted jumper and it has the logo on the front that says Sunday. How stunning is that? Like, I just love the colour, I love the black logo. It looks like a really nice size as well. I picked it up in a size large. I feel like the leather trousers, that coat, or maybe just like jeans, loafers. I'm so, so excited to style these bits up. So you will be seeing them styled up in a styling haul really, really soon. But if you want to see them sooner than that, then they'll probably be on my Instagram soon or my TikTok. So if you're not following me on either of them, I'll pop them on screen. So yeah, you can go and follow me over there as well. I now have to finish filming a few other bits for one of the campaigns I've just filmed. And then I am going to head out later this afternoon. And I think I'm going to go to the gym and then I'm going to go to do our food shop. I've just popped the coat on as a final look for one of the campaigns I was filming and oh my goodness I am absolutely obsessed. I do actually need to get kind of like well I probably have some jeans in there but these are like my favourite jeans from PLT and they just do not look right with loafers because they've obviously got that a little split. Also I haven't ironed the coat so if there's any creases in it just ignore that but I am absolutely obsessed with how it looks. It's not too oversized as well. I feel like it's a really nice fit. Sometimes I get my coats and I like a size up too much. There's definitely room in it though for like a chunky knit but it's nice and warm itself. I don't actually know if I would need to like layer up too much underneath this. I feel like it's going to keep me really nice and warm throughout winter. And yeah, it's just a really nice staple for my wardrobe. So I thought I would just quickly jump on and give you a little look at it since I've just- Okay, the lighting is absolutely horrible in here. So I'm going to keep this really short and sweet. But all of the core sweatshirts for Lala have arrived and I have a big pile of pre-orders to get through. So that is my job this morning. I'm going to crack on with all of these orders, get them all sorted and shipped out. And then we also have another sweatshirt that's launching. Um, that's launching on Sunday. So. I'm going to probably do all of the content for that tomorrow afternoon. I'll maybe give you a little sneak peek in this video. Yeah, I will. I'll give you a little sneak peek of that sweatshirt in this video, even though I'm going to end this vlog later today. But I thought I would pack the orders with you. So you can see a little bit behind the scenes of like packing the orders and like running a small business. This is my little stock room that I have, which is in our garage. Honestly, it's such a good space. Obviously when we were looking for a house, I had to take into consideration like where all of my stock was gonna go because I like to obviously work from home. I've got my little office in the house and then this is where I keep all of the stock. So yeah, you probably can see some of the stock behind me. I've actually not unloaded all of the new sweatshirts yet because I want to get all these pre-orders done first and then I can unbox the remaining ones that we have left and get them all kind of like 
sorted and in a place in here. I'm probably going to spend some time in here over the weekend just giving it a little bit of a sweep out, hoovering and like mopping and stuff and then just like a rejig moving some bits around. But all of that will be in another vlog because like I said I'm going to end this one today but I better stop rambling because I need to get these orders all done. Then I've got a campaign I need to film and then I'm going out this afternoon to get my nails sorted because they really need sorted and to be honest I actually don't really have time this week to go and get my nails done but I have another video that I'm filming tomorrow that my nails basically need to be nice for. That's the plan, let's pack some orders together. That's all of the orders packed. I now look like I'm wearing a dressing gown, but I'm actually not. This is that new coat from Fourth and Reckless. Super, super cozy, and it is actually freezing. I was quite cold in the garage there, so this is heating me up. And Chris has dropped me down at the train station because I'm going in on the train today because I'm going to get my toes done as well. And I always run out of time, like with parking, so the train it is. I'm rushing to get to the train, but fingers crossed we get on the train and we're going to go and get some either cherry red nails or chocolate brown. So, yeah. Chocolate brown. Chocolate brown. Go for the cherry red. Cherry red? Ah. Not not like bright red, like, like I'm talking like deep red. Ah, cherry red. Okay. Mm -hmm. Heard it here first. The man has requested cherry red. actually already finished this vlog off but I am wearing my new Lala sweatshirt today and it launches later today and this vlog is going up today so I thought I would quickly jump on and show you it. So this is the new colourway of the core sweatshirt. It's obviously a gorgeous chocolate brown. It wouldn't be cosy season for me without chocolate brown and I hope you guys feel the same. This one is very similar to the other one but this one says in my self love era um, and the other one obviously says in my self care era. Both good errors to be in so yeah it just depends on which one you feel suits you best but both are now available on Lala when you watch this they'll both be on the website so yeah if you want to get yourself one um, I will pop the details in the description and I'll pop up the Lala page on the side as well in case you didn't even know that I had a clothing brand <laughs> uh, but yeah I just wanted to jump on and show you this um, I hope you guys love it as much as I do and now I'm off to wear it at a lovely little cosy a farm shop date this morning. It's a lovely Sunday morning and I don't know why I'm telling you this because I'm going to be telling you all this in my other vlog but yeah, hope you like this sweatshirt. Hello and goodbye from me and my massive eye bags. I mean it is early but I didn't realise I was feeling that tired. Like, jeez. This camera has um, like an automatic effect that it does. You'll probably notice sometimes in my videos like one minute I'm like nice and smooth and very filtered looking and then the next minute like the lighting will change or the camera refocuses itself and it shows me and all of my true like Im imperfections and, and whatnot. Even that nice blood and filter that seems to be on this camera um, isn't hiding these huge eye bags that I appear to have this morning. Like I said I'm actually only on to say hi and bye because I'm going to start another vlog right in the same spot before I head in to the bakery that I'm waiting outside of. Um, but yeah I wanted to round off this vlog because I feel like this one is a good length. Um, I actually feel like this vlog, I've not actually started editing it yet, I'm actually going to go in. I'm meeting my friend um, this morning and I've come early. I dropped Chris in town and I thought I'll just come straight to the cafe early and I'll start editing, just enjoy a coffee and edit this vlog. So I haven't actually started editing this yet but I think from like everything I filmed I think I'm going to like this one. Um, so yeah, hopefully that is the case when I start editing it and I hope you have enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you did. I'm so glad that I'm regularly uploading again. Like it feels just so good to be back in a routine of picking up the camera and like I said I'm actually enjoying it. Um, so yeah. I hope you guys are liking the videos too. I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you so much as always for watching a video by me and I'm excited to start another vlog right after I finish this one. I'll see you in another one guys really really soon.